I would paraphrase Moshe's statement on health as a person who has the means to meet uncertainty and thrive. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I would define a healthy person to be, to have the resources to meet uncertainty, to meet chaos, to meet instability, and to actually have the resources within themselves to thrive. It goes along with the, I don't know if you know the book by Nassim Talib called Anti-Fragile. And Talib, uh, he wrote The Black Swan, he wrote several other books. And, and, and he searched for a word to, to go beyond resilience. Resilience meaning just coming back to where you were before. But the actual process, he, the, the, the title of the book is Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Uncertainty or From Chaos, Things That Actually Gain From, from, from Difficulty. So, um, that takes a tremendous amount of, I, we could call it grounding, we could call it a sense of, one of the, you know, it, this idea of composure is, is so much a part of the Feldenkrais method. Moshe was adamant that we're helping people with their dignity, which, which is a statement of, again, beyond recovery, it's a statement of finding something within yourself where you where you can live with yourself, you have dignity for yourself, you can live with the life that you've lived, and yet you find somehow that there's something in yourself, as Moshe would say, that's not so bad. <laughs> he would say, yeah, not so bad. There's a beautiful talk he gave in Amherst on, on his own feelings of inferiority and, and that, were, that, were, that were justified. He, was, he spent, uh, in, in Baranovich, the town he was in, he spent time in, in, a, in cellars, he lost his voice. There were three or four armies of occupation that came through the, the area. As a Jewish man, he, he went through pogroms, he went through tremendous difficulties. He had every reason in the world to be tra traumatized, to lose his voice, to, and he, and he talked about how did he recover his voice? All of the, all of the medications, all the processes that they tried didn't work. And his process was, I looked into myself and I found that which I did well, that which I could continue to do well. And I began to take that which I could do well and began to bring it into the areas of my life where I sensed myself to be inadequate. And, and, and that's, the, that's the process is to be able to be with our inadequacy in such a way that we continue to have an ongoing continuing needs of refinement where the inadequacy becomes less and less important. Mm -hmm.